guys, it's Amanda. I am so excited today because I'm going to be talking about the Crave Beauty products. I've been trying them out for about two months now. I'm just going to share my thoughts and feels as I usually do. I have been a very long time fan and subscriber of Leah Yu ever since she was going by Yellowy Cream here on YouTube, which is like, throwback. So I'm just gonna tell you guys how I think and how it feels about them and if you're not already subscribed please do so because if you guys like skincare and k-beauty especially this is the place for you and also don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find it helpful. So the Create Beauty products are actually split into two different groups. There's the core series and the supplement series so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the core series. The first product in their core series line is the Beach Shield and this is their sunscreen. It's a very antioxidant rich and charged sunscreen that is derived from beetroot extract. This product contains 50 milliliters of product and it goes for $20 USD and I'm just going to go ahead and read the description. It says that it's a gentle antioxidant day rich fluid that protects your skin from harsh environmental stressors. It's a lightweight non-white casting formula that's charged with beetroot extract antioxidants to help fight against free radicals so you don't turn beet red. <laughs> so why I like this so much is because First of all, all of the claims are true. It's lightweight, there's no white cast. There's not really anything that I don't like about it. It's just that it is $20. It is more than my Holy Grail Misha Essence Sunblock. But that one definitely has a sunscreeny smell. Personally, I don't mind that at all, but I do find that one to be hydrating and protective as well. But this one definitely has a more broad spectrum as well as it doesn't have a sunscreen smell. So if you don't like all the things that you think of when you think of sunscreen, definitely check this out. Next up is their Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. You guys know I love anything with matcha. If it's got matcha in the name, like sign me up because I'm there. So it contains 120 milliliters and this retails for about $16, often is sold out. And I don't blame them because this is good stuff. So it says that it's an antioxidant cleanser that doesn't mess up your skin barrier, lifting everything your skin doesn't want while leaving what it needs, which is very important. It helps to create healthy and pH level hydrated skin. And it also has matcha and hemp seeds to boost your skin's intake of antioxidants and essential fatty acids. One of the awesome things about Crave Beauty products is that on the back, it's gonna give you some additional details. So it has the pH level, it tells you how much matcha is in the cleanser which is super amazing I love the way that it's kind of broken out on the back and it's really comprehensive if you're really conscious about ph levels this is a really great line to look into why do i like this cleanser so much the first reason is because i never realized how drying my other cleanser was until i used this and i was like wow my skin doesn't feel like it's parched and it's not that my other cleanser um i was using the too cool for school foam wash and it's not that that was super drying it's just that because this is so hydrating and like very rich on the skin it, my skin just feels so much better after washing my face and this isn't going to lift away all of your makeup and stuff so that's the only con I have for this but it doesn't say that it will so I use double cleansing anyway so I use an oil cleanser first and then I follow with this and my skin is just perfectly like parched non-drying it feels great love 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 this stuff the texture itself is really light and almost gel-like, so I actually do think this would also be suitable for all skin types as well. Alright, let's move on to the supplement series, and the first product is the Kalaluya Toner. So this bad boy's got 200 milliliters of product and it retails for $25. On the back here it says, skin resurfacing exfoliator that kicks your dead skin cells to the curb. Sounds awesome, right? Revealing youthful, healthier skin while also feeding your skin delicious antioxidants from dark leafy greens. Kiss goodbye. The appearance of discoloration, sun damage, fine lines with regular use. So on the back of Kalaluya, you also have the pH levels here, the AHA level and what series it belongs to along with some instructions and some additional information about the product itself. So I really like how transparent they are with their packaging and their labels. So the reason why I like this so much is first of all, first and foremost, it has improved my skin texture so much after using it. Like I saw a difference probably a week after using this. You're supposed to use it a few times a week, not too much because you don't want to over exfoliate your skin because that will end up damaging it even more. But if you use it, um, you know, a few times a week, I think you'll definitely see a big difference in your skin texture, your skin tone, and just the way that your skin feels. Or at least that's how I thought after using this. I was like, whoa. <laughs> this is definitely probably my favorite product from the entire Crave line, like for real. I wouldn't recommend using this in the morning because it does have AHA and that would increase your sensitivity to the sun, but if you are gonna use it in the morning, definitely make sure you have, I don't know, a really nice SPF to go along with it. This is also supercharged with antioxidant products. That's one of the reasons why I love Crave so much. There's just such a focus on antioxidants, which are really important for any type of skin. 
if you've got flaky skin, if you have discoloration in your skin, if you're just looking for a nice even skin texture, I think this would be great for all skin types. So I definitely highly recommend you guys trying this out. If you don't know what to try and you only want to try one, try this. Lastly, we've got the Great Barrier Relief. On the back of the Great Barrier Reef, you've got what it's craving for, so your skin barrier, and it also tells you how much Tamunu oil it has in there. This product contains 40 milliliters and it retails for $28. So at $28, this is pretty pricey, but some of the proceeds are going towards the Great Barrier Reef, which is really, really good because we're trying to do good things for the environment, right? Right. So on the back, it says that it's a ceramide-rich skin soothing serum that offers a reset button to your damaged skin barrier. It contains tamunu oil and ingredients that mimic a healthy skin barrier to help replenish what your skin lacks. It also helps to even out your complexion, and it says apply one or two pumps of the Great Barrier Relief before or in a replacement to your moisturizer. Some of the other key ingredients are safflower oil, rosehip oil, vitamin B3, ceramide, cholesterol, and NWF. If you are sensitive to certain types of oils, definitely check this out and read the ingredients before you buy it. But so far, I've been using it sometimes twice a day, sometimes once a day. Well, I mean, it's only been like three days, so I've been trying to experiment. But so far, I do really like this. It, this product does have a scent, whereas the other products didn't really have a scent. Um, my husband told me this morning that I smelled like celery, and this is what I had on my face. So there's that. So I don't think it smells like celery, but it definitely has a scent. My face does look a lot glowier than when I wasn't using this product. So even though it's only been a few days, my skin does look a little glowier. The only downside to this product is it does feel a little tacky. It does take a little bit to dry, but if you're applying moisturizer over it, it's not going to really matter. But if you're applying this by itself, it does feel a little tacky, or at least it did on my skin. If you have really sensitive skin and you're looking for something to kind of replenish the barrier, like I kind of wish that I had this when I was on Accutane when my skin was just like drying and flaking and like dying. So this would have been great. I definitely think that it would have made a huge difference and helped me out and just kind of replenish my skin. I do have combination skin like I said earlier and I don't think I would replace my moisturizer with this, but I do find that if you have like oily skin, this might be a good uh, moisturizer replacement. That's it for my review on the Crave Beauty products. I really hope this was helpful. This really was my honest thoughts and feels, even though I really didn't have that many negative things to say. It's because they're honestly really great products. But if I only had to recommend one product to try out first, I would definitely say get the Kalaluya because my skin was just like, oh. Let me know if you guys have tried any Crave Beauty products. And if you haven't already, let me know what you want to try. If you guys have a favorite product, let me know. And I really hope you guys liked this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in my next one.